go. Hey, welcome to the easiest Notion guide you will ever see. But first, let me pour a cup of tea and voice over Fabian will tell you more about. I use Notion for everything organization, thoughts, notes and work for this YouTube channel. It is basically my second brain. I'm going to cover my simple homepage, how I work on my YouTube videos and plan my content, how I store movies and shows I would like to watch, books I want to read in the future, things I might want to buy, and lastly, how I track the maintenance of the apartment, store the manuals on how to perform it and in which interval. All this was created by myself from scratch, but don't worry, it is very easy. Let's open Notion. The first page that appears is my homepage. And here I give you a short overview. I have on the left a calendar widget, which just simply shows the month and the date. Right next to it, we have a to-do list for today. I don't like to categorize to-do lists. I just have tasks which I need to do today. Right next to it are tasks which I have to do someday. I realized I just cleaned my car yesterday, so I can take this off and it's done. Then all the way on the right, I have a quote, which I change from time to time just to keep me motivated. Then we have my big goals. I tend to have one or two big goals every year and they are here kind of as a motivation. For example, to make me work on YouTube or to train on running to actually run a marathon next year. Right underneath, we have some quick links. Quick links are simply links to different pages uh, in Notion. And these are the pages which I use the most. So it's very important that I keep my home screen very simple and minimal because this makes it also easier accessible on my phone, which is very important to me if I want to capture a photo quickly when I'm on my phone. So this is it for my homepage. Let's jump into the probably most used page, which is YouTube. In the YouTube page, there are simply three sub pages. One of them is the workflow. We can jump right in this. It's a Kanban board for all my YouTube videos where I st start writing them, put my ideas down and they follow through this Kanban board till the end when they are published. So it starts with just an idea. When I'm writing the script, it goes into writing. When it's ready to film, like how I use Notion as a minimalist, it's right here. Then it goes to editing, ready to publish. And at the end, when it's published, it will be stored under published. Um, I kind of tuned something like a template for writing YouTube scripts. You can see it right here. It consists out of thumbnails, ideas, and title ideas, which mostly I start first before writing the script. Then I have something like video concept structure. Um, sometimes I fill this out, sometimes I don't. It really depends on the video. Then we have the shot list. Here I will write down shots I need to fill for this particular YouTube video. This is a to-do list, so I can simply take it off on my phone. And then we have the script where I actually write everything down. Sometimes it's a bit more detailed in this video right now. It's very rough because I'm talking about something I use every day. So I'm very confident talking about it. Another sub page I have is color palette and fonts. I started to integrate the color palette into my videos, which you can find here, which I use for thumbnails titles and stuff in my videos then additionally i have camera profiles i'm filming with fujifilm and fujifilm has the option to create something like camera profiles you can think of it something like analog film stocks and i'm using these film simulation actually to film the videos as well let's jump into the next section this is my second brain so it consists out of four different pages the first one is movies and shows. I really like to watch good movies and shows. And whenever someone recommends something to me or I see it on IMDb and I will write it down. And when I have time to start a new show or a movie, I come down to this list and it's, it's a chaotic list because I just write it down whenever I 
get the information. I don't categorize it into shows or movies or what type it is. It's just a list and I will eventually get through it. Then we do have books. This is my book list and here I have another Kanban board that goes through recommendations, what I definitely want to read, what I'm currently reading and what is in my bookshelf. And lately I haven't been reading that much. So you can see there are a lot of recommendations and I definitely still have enough reading material. Then we do have the might want list. I've talked about this in another video before. It's simply a list. If I want to buy something, it goes onto this list. And if I ever come back to this list and I don't remember the item, then it gets deleted. If I do remember the item and I do feel the need of getting it or I actually need it, then I can pull the trigger. Then we have another list. One day there was a home. This is me kind of dreaming in case I ever buy my own apartment or my own home. I have some inspiration right here and the first page and I have some architect currently only one saved from Switzerland where I'm like, I like their designs and I, yes, they are. And that's about it for the second brain. Let's move over to something very interesting. This is my home maintenance page. And I kind of came up with this idea by myself, so I'm very proud, but you can of course copy it. So since living in this apartment, I realized that uh, an apartment also needs some maintenance. And for example, we have to clean the bathroom filter with something like filter in there. We have to clean the laundry machine and the dishwasher and so on. So I have everything included right here with the due date on how many times a year I should do it in which interval. And if I have to order something, it's linked right here, for example, a new filter. And there's also a manual on how to perform the maintenance. So whenever the maintenance is due, I automatically get the reminder and I find all the information I need right inside here without Googling again or checking what cleaning materials and what uh, filters I need. It's all stored here makes it very easy and makes the maintenance actually more fun. And lastly, we do have all links. I think this is very classic when it comes to Notion. Um, here I just store links I'm interested in or things I'm interested in, not particular things that are on my might want list, but more like websites or things I need to check out. Once I've checked them out and I found if it's relevant or not, they get deleted from here. And that's right about it. You can see my notion is very simple. And I think that's the idea of notion. People are making very complex setups these days, but I found that keeping it simple makes me actually more productive. And I've tuned this from the beginning to my needs. So I highly encourage you to do the same as well and to not just download some templates from someone else because you will have to adjust it anyway and it's best if you start fresh and create it by yourself and that's about it for today so i appreciate you watching and i catch you in the next one and also of course have a great one